Yo, what's up, Plague Squad? XP Kage back to you guys another video. I apologize for the long, long, long break. Uh, I know it went longer, but I was taking a good week, uh, with a good week break of gaming, specifically a week away from Shinobi Striker. I really haven't streamed even on Twitch for the past seven days. Uh, I haven't made a video on YouTube for a minute, but we back, we back, and this is not a Twitch clip. So, this is the best. And I mean one of the best ATK face off pit builds you guys can have in Shinobi Striker. And I am going to show it to you guys today. A lot of these are every, uh, there are three things in this build that are Susano armor breakers. So Susano armor nigga ain't finna catch you. You got three Susano niggas, take one out with one move, take another, take two out with the other two moves. Uh, so, yeah, but anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys do, please smash the like button. New to the channel, please subscribe. Without any further ado, let's get into the jutsus and skills you will need for this build. Alright, so off the bat, we're going to go off the skills first. What you're going to want is power and spades, unparalleled courage, and raging storm. But unparalleled courage, you only get that with the Kage Mase uh, outfit bottom. So what this does is increases your maximum health so you have more health and reduces, reduces ninja tool cooldown time. However, it reduces the effectiveness of recovery ninjutsu. But I really don't have recovery ninjutsu for this build, so we're all good. For the weapon, you're going to want a scientific ninja tool chakra claw B. It is the uh, the blue ones, but you can also use the yellow ones. It doesn't really matter. Um, for the ninjutsu, you're going to want Uchiha style halo dance. Rostain Rampage for the uh, substitution you're gonna want Swift Step and for the ultimate I suggest use this when they're on a crowd in the pit or in the face off and you pop off Super Uzumaki Rasengan you get this from uh, buying the season 4 uh, season 4 pass and you get this from the Naruto DLC and this of course from the Shisui DLC along with Swift Step from also from the Shisui DLC so nothing you see in this is well, basically free paper bomb kunai takes niggas out of super no susano armor along with the uchiha style halo dance and rossan rampage but uh with any further ado let's get into the match and let's get into the showcase for the build So, in the meantime, when I'm gone, you know, what not, uh, not playing Snow Shinobi Striker, not streaming, not uploading, you know, feel free to go check out Nappy Beard or Sasuke X Uchiha on Twitch or, uh, YouTube. Nappy Beard always be streaming on Twitch. News streams are hell of entertaining, so I should suggest you guys go check them out. Like I said, I'm sorry for that. I do have a stuttering problem every now and then, but, uh, like I said, I apologize for that part. <laughs> Now this defense wanted me off the bat. Dude, look at this dude getting beat up. Look, Sasuke Susano armor. Nope. Paper Bomb Kunai. Susano armor has no effect on this build at all. Rasta Rampage takes people out of Susano armor. Uh, Uchiha uh, style Halo Dance takes people out of Susano armor. And Paper Bomb Kunai also takes people out of Susano armor. And the ultimate. The ultimate, Susan Armor doesn't protect you against any ultimate, so. Like, you came back to look, I missed uh, miss that. Missed that. Missed that too, because for some reason he was in a mood, so it didn't happen. Took him out of Susan Armor, anyways. Got three ways to take that dude out of Susan Armor. Yeah, I just hopped back in Shinobi. It took a good week. Like I said, I took a good week off of gaming. I got him. Got my knockout. Oh, oh, I was good with the Boruto strike. I didn't even notice that. I wasn't even paying attention to the Boruto strike, but all right. But, uh, yeah, face all. I like face off. I don't think face is all that bad. I think I'm probably going to convert back to my, uh, ATK build, ATK main type style. Because I just made this build 
off the rip and did great with this build. Uh, Cause like I said, a lot of people do run suits and armor. Look at that. I'm gonna get an assist kill for that now. Yep, there's my assist point since I just threw kunai at him. And this dude hit me with and like I care that I got hit by that shit. Are these pants they give you max health, bro? They help. They help. They help. They help. But uh, yeah, face off is getting busting kind of uh, well. Also for the guys, those of you guys who are following me on here, who are sub to me on here, or also sub to me on Twitch, uh, I'll be trying out for DKS again one last time as an ATK because I regret not trying out in well the class that I'm the best at. Cause I tried at healer, and I'm 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 mid at healer. I'm mid. Dude can't even get me. Come on, bro. <clears throat> I'm probably finna pull a dumb moment in a second. Actually, I am finna pull a dumb. See, look, I could have just dashed out the way of that. I think that was the defense I, I defeated early on. No matter, I got my ultimate. Like I said. It's best you hit your ultimate in the middle of a crowd, but my main target was first place, but they in a crowd. Look at that. Healer tried to hit me with Tsukiyomi. Didn't happen. Look at that. Look at that. Two niggas. I should have got three people because there's many people over there. There was like four people over there. Should have got four. But nonetheless, I got two people. Like I said, it's the best to target for a crowd with that move because A, it's a one tap. B, it, 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 it's a one tap, man. And you know, if you get a crowd, you get more than one nigga. But, uh, this, 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 uh, this, this do be busting, though. I, I'm really vibing with this build. I really don't use, uh, Halo Dance that much. This is my first time, but I'm my first time. I used Halo, uh, Halo Dance before. But, uh, I'm liking Halo Dance better this time around. But, uh, I'm finna run up the wall, because, you know, I'm a one-tap. I'm basically almost a one-tap. Got an assist kill off of that. So, I'm just gonna run on the wall until, you know, I get that dub, because why not? I cut out I cut out most of the parts I was running on the wall though. So I got first place anyways though. I got first place anyways. At the last part I was almost a I was almost a one tap almost wouldn't let them get that third kill. So like I said this build does go wild. The this is awesome, this is awesome. Uh <clears throat> this build go wild, this build go wild. Hope you guys did enjoy. Uh peace out, like what?